Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, it's Kevin here. Uh, Passion for it always. Back at it again with another video. Um, so a few, I think it's already been over a month or so. Uh, I've been essentially wear testing the Jown New Balance 990 V4, and I have a few thoughts on it. I didn't want to rush this review just because I know a lot of people. Uh, you know, like this is a pretty expensive pair of shoes. I forgot what it's going for on the aftermarket. I know it's close to the elevated retail price that this one had, which I'll talk about it later, um, but it's still a decent amount of money. I wanted to give my fair, honest opinion on it. So I didn't want to rush it. I did wear it quite a few times, a few weeks at a time, uh, pretty much like almost every day, just cause I wore this to work, but yeah. So, uh, Jan released their third New Balance collaboration, the 990 V4, which I think was a very, very, I think it was a very simple collaboration. When the first pictures came out, I was actually very, very critical on the shoe itself, just because it felt like um, a very lazy uh, sort of uh, like rendition of the 990 V4. Uh, I felt like the colors were okay. Uh, there really wasn't that much extra being added to it. And I did feel like it was almost like um, like phoning in a collab. It was around the same time that the Vans collab came out and I was pretty, pretty disappointed in the Vans collab actually. So this could be uh, just kind of the residual disappointment carrying over in the 990 v4 when i had my first opinions on it so the 990 v4 uh this one retailed at an elevated retail price of i believe it was 260 dollars i remember down uh charging kind of like a thicker amount than previous but it wasn't that exorbitant like the vans collab it was a substantial percentage increase while this one i think was like ten dollars more $20 more, which at that point I felt like it was like, okay, it's kind of within reason, but at the same time, I really wish you would just charge the, the manufacturer recommended retail price. Uh, that's just me. <laughs> Almost everybody else does it too, but I don't know why John just, just wants to do it. I did get this on their official release on their website. I know that they had a few secondhand or a second dairy, uh, like releases on newbalance.com as well as a few retailers if i remember correctly as well as the new balance tea house in japan and i think a few stores as well so let's go over the details of the shoe the shoe itself is a fairly simple uh basically 990 v4 the entire upper is pretty much covered in this parisian night which is the official color name of this there are like new buck panels on the toe as well as near the new balance n that is done in a darker blue or even a black uh, and then the rest of the panels are a mixture of a kind of like a kind of like a heavy a uh, very supple suede as well as a mesh that is quite nice as well. Uh, the back has the Jown logo uh, as well as, I believe this is a 3M hit on the heel. The tongue itself, just a classic New Balance made in USA 990 before. It's all been pretty much blacked out. Uh, as well as the inner lining is also a black, but it's a very nice soft black. Another interesting thing is that they didn't choose to go with all blue everywhere. They made the sole actually black, which I think contrasts pretty nicely with it. Um, yeah, uh, so that is pretty much the entirety of the shoe. The shoe comes with these uh, cotton laces, these classic cotton laces. I really do like these, but I've actually been swapping on and off depending on like whatever week it is with the elastic laces that they actually came with. They actually came with a bungee cord lace as well as two lace toggles or lace locks, which that I think really did add another level of, I guess, involvement. Just the fact that they did show off, I believe it was a 3D rendering of the, of the lace toggle. So that means they must have had to design this themselves as well as somehow get New Balance to manufacture it. Uh, like I don't exactly know how they would go about that just because I haven't really seen a lace lock like this previous on any New Balance models. I have seen it in some form or shape in a few Nike models, like mainly the Air Jordan 6. But the fact that they even did this and it's 
a pretty heavy metal too. Uh, I really, really like the added, I guess, goodie. Well, I guess it isn't even a goodie since you paid for it, but the extra added level of like, this is a unique collab. Um, as well as the bungee laces are quite nice. Uh, one of the qualms that I think I do have with the bungee laces is that I wish they were just slightly longer. That was my biggest concern of it. Um, just because when I did lace them all up, I would have to not lace up the very top two and then I would just have to kind of tie them there. I did wish it was just maybe um, an inch longer, possibly. That would have been great just so that I could comfortably do it. It would still be possible, but it would just be real tight. Um, and then I think the whole vibe of the shoe really does change if you use the bungee or the classic cotton lace. The classic cotton lace definitely makes this feel like a heritage model, um, which I guess it isn't even that heritage since it is pretty modern, uh, like in the past like, like 10 years or so. But uh, the bungee laces definitely does give it either the more sleek, slim down look, which I thought the 990 V4 really does well, is that it, it like transitioned from the V3 to the V4. The V3 was definitely more of like a chunky recovery shoe. Um, it was definitely more wide foot friendly and all that. Uh, but the 990 V4 definitely has like those mixes of the V3 that gave it more of that, um, that like retro feel, but slimmed it down a lot, but still had that like kind of slightly heritage vibe to it. Um, and I think the V5 kind of went a little bit more towards the streamlined look and even more so the V6 looks, looks like a performance shoe that has heritage materials, which is kind of confusing, but yeah. Uh, the 990 V4 I think is, is like top two like 990 versions. I like the V3 the most and then the V4 is right after that. And then the V5. I just really like the design language of the V4, which, there are a bunch of other shoes that have the same level of, I guess, quality as well as aesthetics as the Chow 990 V4. Um, like namely, I did mention the Engineered Gomerins collab, or you could just get a general release pair of the 990 V4s, but it'll just be all black instead of this dark blue. If I remember correctly, the, uh, the Engineered Garments was a V5, and instead of having the black sole, it was an all like dark, blue like almost like the Parisian night color so if you guys don't want to spend I believe it's like 300 something dollars right now or two or high 200s uh, I would recommend going for those two on the second market preferably maybe even grailed or eBay hopefully they have it there so sizing for this I am a size 8 on most of my shoes and then I went to size 8 on this it fits perfectly fine with me um, I could have even gone down to an eight and a half or gone up to an eight and a half, but it would have given me a bit too much room on the toe. Uh, I think it fits like a nice, comfortable shoe. I would say true to size is the move to go. Now, my final thoughts on the shoe is that I think Jound, although the pictures are deceiving, it is a good pair of shoes, right? Um, it's a nice pair of shoes with a little added customizability given the custom laces and the lace lock. But a part of me is also kind of iffy on saying whether or not I think this is even worth um, the elevated retail price because I think it's even 30 or 40 dollars more expensive than the normal uh, GR pairs or even the, the engineered garments pairs, both of those being still made in the US. So I will have to say that this is a good shoe if you really want that customizability for it. But if you just want a shoe to essentially look like this and you're not planning on switching out the laces frequently or, or like if at all, um, I would recommend the Engineered Garments collab uh, as well as the GR uh, footwear a lot more than the Jound. Although I am a big fan and I like the way that they did everything, the quality of the materials and like everything else that I think is a core essential building block of the shoe, you can find on other shoes potentially for cheaper. So those are my quick thoughts on the 990 before. I will do an on fee and swap out the pants so that you guys can make the decision uh, of whether or not this shoe is for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.